All right, to get, today guys, we're working on another 7200 R series tractor, but this one is an older model. Uh, it has a, a Green Star 3 display, which is a GS3, which is a smaller display. And today what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show y'all how to turn off the Green Star display and the original Green Star monitor within here so that the tremble will actually work and communicate correctly. So the first thing we need to do is we need to navigate over here to our menu and you can roll your tab around and hit the check mark or you can actually hit a, a button that says menu and it brings up this page and then we're going to go to our H for display. We're going to go to J for our settings and then we're going to go to H for multiple displays. And when this comes up, we do have to use our, our scroll bar and roll around and highlight change settings. And under change settings, when you hit that, you'll notice in this one, I've already got it turned off. But in, in, when you first get in one that has never had tremble in it before, you would notice that these are actually checked. Both of these will be checked. And we have to come in and, and uncheck both of these so that we can actually operate within the system within the CAN system on the tractor without having any issues um, causing us to not get communication on our tremble through the CAN system. So it, with both of these turns off, that will allow us to not have any interference whatsoever from the John Deere side. Once you uncheck both of these, you would hit F or scroll down and hit save and restart the display. And of course it saves and it shuts down and brings it back up. Once it comes back up, I do advise you to cycle power on the tractor. So to actually cycle the key switch, uh, it's just good practice to make sure that everything shuts off and is completely dead and then comes back up. In the, uh, the newer model tractors, it actually tells you to do that on their display. The Green Star 3 is not as, uh, it's not as important, I guess you would say, but it's just good practice to do. Anytime you do anything, loading of information into the display into our display as far as the tremble if you do any firmware updates or any information changes my suggestion would be to make sure they shut down and go through a complete power cycle again today we're working on a 7200 r series tractor with a gs3 display and we're turning off precision guidance or the green star monitor and original green star uh, again thank you that's it